Hi, I'm David Hauser. Welcome to Future Life Premium Package 3, Behind the Curtain, The White Heart Orgasm. Now that you have learned about different types of relationship in Package 1 and 2, Premium Package 3 discusses how to get the loving bond you want in your life. What is a white heart orgasm? I have promised to talk about Tantra and this is one aspect of it that is hardly shared in Western Tantric dogma. What I want to reveal here is a unique experience that is invoked by a love divine that without warning engulfs our inner and outer beings. Usually because we have not been trained or made aware of such things, this type of experience simply is frightening if left unexplained. Most of the real loving experiences we are all able to have have been overlooked because of fear. This is one of the most treasured ones because it brings us in contact with the white blossoming lotus within. The white heart orgasm is a very advanced tantric experience. Rapture of the heart is something romantic poets have attempted to describe for generations. Surely it's the elixir or ambrosia we somehow innately recognize through our deep cosmology, but hardly ever in our conscious minds. However, once you have taken a restorative sip, you want to drink it up with aroused vigor. In this lesson, I will attempt to describe the feeling and how to achieve its sublime joy. Refraining from intercourse at the beginning of a relationship or not having it for a week in an ongoing relationship is key to having the white heart orgasm. The longing is a means to coax an essence that is beyond the first three chakras because it redirects intention. It must be made clear that the tendrils of love must penetrate the soul first before penetrating the body so it can achieve its sacred space. Connection is imperative and it takes time to convince the timid soul that it's okay to step into the light of epiphany. This technique also bonds couples for the long term. It requires close attentions like stroking the furnace to raise the level of heat. Accomplishing this requires undisturbed quiet time to merge intention of sharing tenderness on a level of true intimacy. True intimacy is when a budding couple can spend time grooming each other with their subtle etheric energies. Energies of this nature have a higher vibratory rate and it electrifies the auric fields surrounding our causal bodies. Our hearts are like a giant capacitor storing that energy in its infinite vortexes that transcend time space. These vortexes have also been known as our endless well, where all love resides transcendentally. Trust is the pathway for it to find a road to travel on, and once it can establish that bridge, it can flood out with complete abandon energetically between two enamored souls. Changing the view of what it means to be naked with someone is also a very important aspect of creating a safe haven for this type of love to thrive. In order to invoke the white heart orgasm, after the initial stages of developing healthy intimacy, being naked with each other without the intent of having sex is very important. This is when through the language of kissing and touching we stoke those higher flames to flicker inside the fourth chakra where our compassion resides. So without touching the genitals, discover each other by making attempts to go beyond the surface and search for your hearts instead. This means feel from your center and attempt to move that center into the heart of your beloved. It is necessary to block out all noise from the mind in order to be completely present and find your heart. Make this time a meditation to soothe each other and establish another level of trust because sex is not the intention. The intention is to find each other's souls. Sometimes it's welcoming to have music, incense, or a candle to occupy the senses so the mind can rest. Once you find your heart energy, feel its core and send that feeling through your fingertips with loving intentions. In the Mahamudra position, without penetration, where you are sitting in the upright position, 
the male principal's legs crossed and the female principal's legs wrapped around the male's back, caress the outline of each other's bodies, starting from the feet up, the legs and torso, follow through to the tips of each other's fingers that rise above your heads. Bringing them down again, move to embrace each other and pull yourself into each other's chest, heart to heart. With each other's heads resting on each other's shoulders, continue exchanging those intentions of love to fill the heart. Close your eyes and stay fixed in the moment by using breath to be your mantra without words. Breathing in deeply through the nose and out the mouth. Many yogis say that that sound of breathing in is called so, and the breathing out sound is hum. So, so meaning I am, and hum meaning that. That refers to all of creation. I am refers to consciousness being awake. Feel the pulse of your love's heartbeat and put your intentions right there with every wordless breath. You are awakening undefinable emotions that simply resonate between you. Lose yourself in them. Imagine love radiating from your beloved's heart and blending with yours. Let thoughts and images pass through you without attaching your awareness to them until all are shed, only the breath and the beating heart remain. Like the rising sun, the color spectrum behind your eyes will transform into visualizations of a white beating heart. Each beat a rinsing joy that overwhelms the body like lightning. You may have very slight convulsions that cause you to feel like you're having many or multiple orgasms. This orgasm though comes from another type of liberation that swells from within the soul. At this point, don't attempt to form thoughts or even process the experience. Just allow the experience to play out in the moment with your beloved. It's unusual for both to have this experience at the same time, but it does happen. The one that it is happening to needs to be cradled and gently laid down after the tremors cease and caressed with tenderness. Not everyone is going to have a breakthrough when first attempting this because of prior sexual programming, upbringing, environmental influences, etc. But the underlying familiarity with this type of contact will attempt to process it and unravel its meaning. Don't rush this as increasing the energetic charge in the heart will eventually reach the pinnacle of climax. When this occurs, there is no doubt that your heart has gushed its elixir and that you feel a joy spread through your entire being. It's then that the image of being made of light or white will be realized. So don't be disappointed if you don't have this experience the first time you attempt it. When you become an expert at this experience, combining it with Intercourse can bring men an orgasm without ejaculation and a woman to spontaneously continue orgasming over and over. The fragrance that comes from this white heart is an ambrosia that can't be smelled, yet it engulfs our senses in its extreme feelings of joy. You can feel it arise from oblivion without warning, sternly shaking your awareness to let go and feel. You may not feel in total control of your senses and a shocking undulation is spirited from your heart chakra that if you were fearful might be construed as a forming heart attack. Let any fearful thoughts go and don't attempt to figure anything out at this point of the swelling epiphany. Once it gathers, it will splash out in all directions in your body with the sensation of pure happiness and love. When the quality of attention we've given each other is acute like this, it fills our soul with a joyful mirth that is simply indescribable. Defining this type of tenderness without sex will build and bind your budding relationship in ways that will last lifetimes. This practice is a sure test of your inner empathy, compassion, and ability to express unconditional love. The white heart 
orgasm empowers you with the truth of love. Sometimes you can be overwhelmed by the well of your soul that seems to reach into the deepest caverns of the purest waters. Your honesty and guided convictions are what makes it so honorable. A spoken pledge to synchronize love's resolve before the start of the practice can be a wonderful way to set a profound intention. Here is an example of something to say to each other before you start the practice. Yes, you are my heart and my heart doesn't waver as it is clear that the soul that resides in the beautiful form called you that has found mine. Our beauty pours over each of us, constantly rinsing our life's cause with an understanding that our contact is the most real experience of our lives. How could we not encourage each other to thrive and to shed pain and attach ourselves to our joined sweet compassion? Yes, our overflowing compassion has returned to quench us through our clear words and actions meant for our hearts to sing. This creative merger called coupling has been made with the sweetest of love and the outcome of its magic event is the music of your hearts. Every part of this process has a halo of love and every part of every soul connected with it has succumbed to its ambrosia. I have personally witnessed it in the eyes of all those who have participated in it. Because of this, I am convinced that the aroma will willfully translate into the hearts and souls of those who have also are consumed by its flavor. The colors of this type of art couples create are as vibrant as the perfection of those inner voices that speak so lovingly to each other without words throughout eternity. I want you to know to take nothing for granted and to spend every single moment within each other's sphere no matter what. By being a vehicle that enriches each other's hearts further, you will have a rich love story. Happiness has never tasted so sweet when raptured in love. I know that as the blossom of your connection opens wider, your joy will continuously expand. Love can profoundly embrace you and you will be forever grateful for the tenderness that has made both of you better than you could ever be. Miraculously, uttered coups of love unfetters those earthly bonds that bind us to earthly causes that attempt to keep our hearts blinded to fate. There have always been icons leading the way with their unique heroic stories of divine love. Ancient mythology is a source of clarity when those curtains that keep our eyes impaired rises to reveal a collective memory. Our souls get rinsed in an instant from the sound that rips awareness and shatters the human ego. Nonsense will be replaced with knowledge basking in an amorous ambrosia that can drench us with wisdom. A white heart orgasm squeezes a type of love from our inner selves that is simply transcendental. Love's refined breath swoons at such a high pitch, singing a song that resonates behind our eyes. Time is the only shroud that keeps our divine cause oblivious to our fragile will, whose realized strength has made us immortal. This impervious story we all share, once awoken by love's kiss, shatters these indignations of deceptive masters. It's love's breath manifesting in this material universe that restores our souls, endears our hearts, and makes us whole in emptiness. Time will not evaporate this mission. Ushers will lose their grip and our relentless resolve persevere. An awakened collective memory filled with certain ahas is coming to direct a phenomenal pause that splits the observer and the observed.
preciousness sparkles in each twilight between light and dark where mindful illuminations remind us just how precarious life can be. Yet, in that clarity, knowledge has freed us to indisputable facts that love is the only thing we can believe in. Now that you know all about the white heart orgasm, give it a try. Don't get discouraged by fear or inability to connect at first. Practice makes perfect. Once your hearts connect, they are connected throughout eternity. Just remember that at the beginning of every practice, it is key to clear your mind, set an intention, even if a silent one, and be playful and loving towards each other and yourselves. I am always here for you. Shoot me a message, or if you need to discuss your experience in more detail, book a session with me. I am also making the written version of this video available to those who have purchased the video. If you would like to get a copy, email me and I'll get it to you. As always, I am here to be the guide to help you get to the love you have always been meant to have. Mm, oceans of love. <laughs>